In this video, I want to give you the basics. And once you manage to get the right technique to brew the coffee, you can create all the delicious drinks that you like. Hi everyone, Matteo here. In this video, I want to share with you three simple recipes of iced coffee drinks made with mocha pot that will help you to fight the hot days of the year. First, we need to brew the coffee. And here we need a different approach compared to the classic method I use. Because if I brew the coffee like I usually do when I want to drink it hot and then add ice to the coffee, I risk to have a weak beverage with a low intensity of flavors. So to get the right coffee for a nice drink, we need to change some variables. And I will change the coffee to water ratio and I will increase the contact time between coffee and water. And this will allow me to achieve a coffee with a high strength and good extraction. High strength is essential to achieve the right intensity of flavors in the glass when we dilute the coffee with ice or other ingredients. And the good extraction is to achieve the right quality of flavors of the coffee in the drink. Okay, let's start to make the coffee. I will use 18 grams in the basket of medium roast coffee and I usually use natural processed coffee when I want to do ice drinks because of the higher sweetness and the higher body and that is uh, really good for ice drinks. I grind the coffee like I usually do, 15 clicks with a Comandante hand grinder. Here I don't want to change the grind size going finer to increase extraction because I want to avoid uh, channeling and unevenness. Grinding finer is usually the first variable that uh, people change when they want to increase extraction. Sometimes it's okay, but in case of mocha pot, we need to be careful because uh, if we don't distribute the coffee well in the basket, uh, we risk to have channeling and unevenness, as I said. So, uh, for example, the water, uh, the majority of the water can pass through just to one side of the coffee pack, and this will give us a, a coffee that is weak and also uh, bitter. And we don't want that. So, to avoid this problem, I keep the usual grind size. After we finish to pack the coffee in the basket, it's time to prepare the water. Quantity of water I'm using in the boiler is 100 grams. And that is for a three cups mocha pot, the one I'm using to brew the coffee. And you can see that the level of the water is way lower than the valve. So 18 grams of coffee with uh, 100 grams of water makes a ratio of 5.5. When I usually brew the coffee, when I want to do it in a normal way, I for 18 grams of coffee, I usually use 140 grams of water in the boiler, and that makes a ratio of 7.7. .7. So if I just use 100 grams of water in the boiler, like I'm doing in this video, I will achieve a coffee that has a um, higher intensity, but at the same time, I will have less water to extract the coffee enough to get all the nice attributes I want in the glass. So the trick is to increase the contact time between coffee and water during the extraction so that this, this amount of water, the 100 grams of water in the boiler, is able to extract more solids. Before closing the mocha, it's very important to place a paper filter on the filter of the mocha. And this will help us to increase extraction by creating a bit more resistance. And also it will help us to achieve a cleaner coffee. Okay, place the mocha on the stove, always on the small diffuser at low heat. And while we wait for the coffee to come up, we prepare the ice. For a three cups mocha with 18 grams of coffee, I usually use around 130 grams of ice. This is the quantity of ice that I always use to make any ice drink with a mocha pot. From this total amount of ice, I place three or four pieces in the upper chamber um, as soon as the coffee comes out from the chimney. I do this to help to cool down the coffee quickly. But also by doing this, it will help to trap more of the volatile compound of the coffee in the liquid. So I suggest you to try this, but if you don't want to, you can just wait for all the coffee to come up and then just pour the, all the liquid in the glass with the ice. But I assure you that this trick can make the difference. Now, if you place the ice in the upper chamber, just remember to don't put too much ice, otherwise it will overflow and you don't want that. Okay, now let me show you what to do when the coffee starts to come out. 
As soon as you see the coffee coming out, remove the mocha from the stove and place the ice. And then we wait until the flow of the mocha stops. During this time, if you want to make the black iced mocha, pour 80 grams of water with the remaining ice in the glass. I usually add 80 grams of water because I know that with this amount I will get the right dilution and I will have the right balance that I like. But of course you can find your own balance by changing the quantity of water. You can put less or you can put more. It's up to your taste. This rest that we are giving is also helpful to saturate the coffee well and increase extraction. Exactly what we need. When you see the coffee flow stopping, replace the mocha on the stove for two or three seconds and then off again. You will see the coffee coming back out. This fraction of two seconds create more pressure to push the water up. Keep the flow always slow. If it stops, place the mocha back for one or two seconds and then continue like this until we brew all the coffee. The important thing here is to avoid that the coffee goes back down. Nothing dangerous happens, but that will let the coffee go back in the lower chamber and mix it with the clean hot water. This could reduce the extraction because the clean water will have a reduced power of extraction. Once you see only bubbles coming out, it's time to turn off the stove. Now it's time to pour the coffee in the glass and you have your black iced mocha. That is how I like it, but if you want to add sugar or syrup uh, in the coffee, you are more welcome to do it. Um, it's important that you drink the coffee the way you like it. Now, if you want your coffee milky, keep the same quantity of ice, 130 grams, uh, in the glass and you can put the usual 3-4 pieces in the mocha while uh, the coffee is brewing like I showed you before. But don't put the 80 grams of water because we are going to substitute it with milk or with a plant-based beverage depending on your diet. So once the coffee is ready pour it in the glass with ice and then add the milk. Usually keep the same quantity 80 grams so I know that the drink will have the nice coffee intensity that I like. But if you want to add more milk or even like put less milk, you can do it. Mine is just a guideline. Now, if you want to drink something different during these hot days, you can try the mocha tonica. What? That name is horrible, I told you. Oh, come on, man, what's wrong with the name? It's, it's nice, no? I like it. For me, it's very lame. Oh, shut up. To make the mocha tonica, follow all the steps of the milky ice mocha, but instead of milk, pour 80 grams of tonic water. This drink is so refreshing. In this video, I want to give you the basics. Now it's up to you to be creative. You can add more or less tonic water if you want. You can add lemon syrup, other ingredients. Sky is the limit. Once you manage to get the right technique to brew the coffee, then you can create all the delicious drinks that you like. Now, I want to hear from you. Have you ever made a nice coffee using the mocha pot? If you did, what's your recipe? Uh, are you going to try my technique? If you do, uh, let me know what you think about it. You are more than welcome to drop a message in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you in my next videos and in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day and delicious coffee. Ciao.